When this headline came out in 2019, the vegan community were rightly concerned, as this study reported that whilst pescatarians were found to have a 13% lower risk of coronary heart disease than meat eaters, and vegans and vegetarians had a 22% lower risk of coronary heart disease, those on vegan diets were found to have a 20% higher risk of stroke. Now, the researchers suggested that this could be linked to low vitamin B12 levels, but said more studies were needed to investigate the connection. So we know that avoiding vitamin B12 deficiency is critical. We must also consider our omega-3 intake, because when it comes to neurological diseases, there's been some connections made between omega-3 deficiency and neurological diseases. Did you know that roughly 30% of the grey matter that contains most of the neuronal cell bodies in our brain is comprised of DHA? And DHA is the most abundant polyunsaturated fatty acid in the brain. A subset of my audience get frustrated when I highlight problems with a plant-based diet, but my goal is to help people maintain a healthy, whole food plant-based diet and not run into problems, some of which may result in irreversible damage. So now let's hear from Dr. Joel Furman on the reason why he believes he's seen vegans die from neurological diseases. Not only has there been about a dozen studies to show increased risk of cognitive impairment and also brain shrinkage, brain atrophy linked to low DHA levels, but we've also seen recent studies in the last two years come out to show that the omega-3 index below 4 increases the risk of all-cause mortality, all causes of death, including cancer death and heart attack death, from having exceedingly low levels. I have a unique experience, I think, of any plant-based doctor because not just the fact that I've been a person advocating plant-based eating for so many decades, but also because my involvement in the communities where I was the primary doctor for these, like the natural hygiene community, and these people were my mentors and people I looked up to, did not get cancer, they didn't get heart attacks, they lived a long time, but some of them passed away prematurely of Parkinson's and the rest of them got dementia. So every single person I had, Dr. Sidwa, Dr. Shelton, Dr. Vetrano, all my people that I admired and learned from all developed some neurologic problems later in life. And I became the doctor for a lot of this community of elderly individuals. I was checking their DHA levels and finding shockingly low levels. And some people almost had zero levels that developed Parkinson's. And then, of course, seeing that the brain's susceptibility to toxins increases when you don't have DHA and EPA when your omega-3 index is so low. We're talking about the omega-3 index, which is the percent of long-chain EPA and DHA on the cell membrane in proportion to the omega-6 fats on the cell membrane. In other words, in order for the plant-based omega-3 fatty acids to have their positive effect, you have to have a favorable body weight. So now that those omega-3 fats you're taking can favorably affect your omega-3 index adequately. So that's where eating a diet that includes such healthy foods, so much fiber, and you're getting rid of so many empty calorie junk foods, particularly salad oils like mayonnaise and coconut oil and getting all the oils out of your diet and getting the fat off your body and then taking some vegan DHA is when we see the best anti-inflammatory effects. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.